What a very good evening to you and welcome to one of my beer reviews. Okay, it's time to review a beer which I have had before, although in fairness I haven't had this batch. Um, basically, it's this stuff. It's the Ascot Brewing Company's 10th Anniversary Imperial Stout, coming in at 8%. Now, um, this was first brewed a couple of years ago, and uh, the first batch basically looked a bit like this. It's a bottle obviously twice the size, and uh, for some reason they put a wax top on this one and not, not the new stuff. And for some reason, you know, the new batch is in a 330ml bottle. I don't know why. Um, now, the first batch I tried of this uh, actually was my second favourite beer of the year last year. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was a proper imperial stout. Everything was right about it. You know, the flavour, the mouthfeel, uh, the body. It was beautiful. Really, really gorgeous impy stout. Exactly how an imperial stout should be. And uh, uh, this bottle was given to me by uh, John Willits, who's the head brewer at Ascot Brewing Company. And um, he said to me that he reckons that this batch is even better. I mean, pff, wow. So the first batch was incredible. So I'm really hoping for good things from this. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to trying this. Uh, now, it says on the bottle, and I'll read the bigger bottle because um, it's easy to read. <laughs> it says, uh, our 10th anniversary Imperial Breakfast Stout, uh, brewed with lactose, uh, oats, coffee and vanilla. Uh, for a rich and luxurious flavour and aroma with uh, delicious hints of dark fruit, uh, dark forest fruits, uh, dark chocolate, coffee and vanilla, along with a thick and creamy mouthfeel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I remember from it. Uh, it had a lovely, lovely flavour to it. Really, really great beer. Now, the rule of thumb generally is with Imperial Stouts that the longer you leave them, generally they get better. Uh, so I had two bottles of this. I've had one, uh, obviously, which I tried and thought it was incredible hence my second favorite beer of the year last year this one's going to go back into uh, the back of the cup and I'm just going to forget about it and I might probably crack it in a couple of years time or something uh, but this one I'm going to crack this evening and um, yeah looking forward to trying this I really am because um, the first batch was absolutely on the money so um, I'm really hoping this is just as good or maybe even better so let's open it and let's see what happens yeah, Ascot Brewing Company, uh, they're based in Camberley actually, not in Ascot. Uh, and basically the reason for that uh, was because Ascot, uh, the water pressure is rubbish. The uh, reason for that is because I'm sure most of you know Ascot is uh, famous for its race course. And uh, also a lot of uh, rich people around there have private swimming pools and basically the water pressure is rubbish. So they couldn't have a brewery. Um, I mean, the, the brewery in its current formation has only been there really for 18 months. Uh, prior to that, it was called Ascot, uh, Ascot Ales, and uh, a guy called uh, Chris Gill owned the brewery, and uh, he sold up about 18 months ago. Uh, a group of guys bought it, and uh, they employed John Willits as the head brewer. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what they're doing now. And they've changed all their beers. Um, they've kept the core range, but they've they've changed the recipe slightly, and they've basically renamed them all to give them like a race, a racing sort of name. You know, so it's fair enough, Ascot. Uh, brewing company kind of makes sense doesn't it so right well, let's get this in the glass and let's see what happens <clears throat> okay that's a lovely dark color isn't it really really good okay right we'll stop there that's pouring with really good carbonation got a bit of a two finger head going on Lovely sort of creamy sort of dark head on there, but look at the colour of that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Really lovely dark colour. Exactly how an Imperial Stout should look. Absolutely fantastic. Right then, let's go in with the nose. I mean, oh, I can smell the malts from here already, but it's getting a bit closer. Oh, wow, the aroma is amazing. You get, you get in the dark um, roasted malts. You can really smell them, the dark fruits as well, which um, they say in the beer. They're really coming through really quite strongly, actually. Uh, not so much the coffee and vanilla, but um, the fruitiness. Oh, yeah, it's really there. Oh, cool, blimey, yes. That smells absolutely divine. Really, really great on the nose. Uh, well, let's go with the taste. Cheers. Yeah, that's that's really good, absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got such a rich flavour to it, really, really rich. And 
it's not at all bitter because sometimes you get from stouts and with impy stouts as well um you know the, the aftertaste can be really quite bitter you're not getting that at all with that um it's an eight percent beer so it's quite strong but it doesn't drink like an eight percent you know it hides its abv really well but the flavor oh beautiful you're really getting those dark fruits um the vanilla's there a little bit coffee phew, slightly but it the fruitiness of the beer is is beautiful it's it's, it's quite sweet actually um but but not not overly, you know. It's, it's really really lovely. Oh, that's stunning. Um, the body, um, is not quite as thick as I remember the first batch, although it's not thin by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I mean the first batch it was really silky smooth, it was like velvet on your tongue. It's not quite like that, um, but. That's not a problem. It doesn't matter. It's it's got a good body to it, um, but the flavour, oh, oh, it doesn't change as well. It literally just stays on your tongue all the way through to the aftertaste. Beautiful. Oh man, that's a nice beer. Um, here it is again, folks. It's Ascot Brewing Company's tenth anniversary uh, Imperial Stouts, coming in at eight percent. Um, there's still bottles of this around. I know the Grumpy Goat certainly had a few. Um, and I'm pretty certain the brewery has still got a few as well lurking around. So, uh, yeah, you should be able to get some pretty pretty easily, I would have thought. Uh, and it's well worth seeking out. Cracking beer. Uh, well, would I drink it again? Well, I think you already know the answer to that. An absolute fundamental yes, I would. It's beautiful. What would I give it? Nine out of ten. It's a nine out of ten beer. It's fantastic really lovely imperial stout um the flavor as i keep banging on about is just on the money it's beautiful the dark fruits really come through and there's no bitterness there's no dry bitter aftertaste that you sometimes get from dark porters and and, and stouts um oh it's a cracking beer um yeah well done john that's a really really lovely beer anyway well thank you very much for listening all the best cheers goodbye